So what are we doing today? We're running trails at Ealings Park and Douglas Preserve. So Douglas Preserve butts right up to the ocean. Trails and sea. All right, let's go. Kind of hoped he would screw that up. <laughs> We're Carly and Christian. We've been racing triathlons and ultra marathons for over 10 years now. We're basically always trying to find the next crazy adventure. Subscribe to our channels for new videos every week and comment below with your thoughts on this week's video. So Christian always worries about uh, taking me on trails because I am uncoordinated. And I trip over flat surfaces. <laughs> so we'll see if he's too worried about me today to run. Going uphill. Throughout today's run, I thought it would be fun to share some newbie trail runner tips and some important thoughts on mental health and wellness. Jumping right into it, my first trail running tip is to pace yourself. Trails are a bit merciless and if you start too fast, you'll pay the price for it. Trust me. It's the ocean. Look at that, trails and sea. And paragliders. At the top of this epic climb that I went way too fast on, we found a great surprise in Ealing's Park. This is called the Camouflage House. It's an art installation by artist Tom Fruin, an alumni of UCSB. You can find this sculpture in the center of the park, overlooking the water. And of course we had to stop for a little token photo op. running newbie tip is to watch your footing but don't miss the scenery. My ankles aren't used to all the undulations of the terrain but I often miss out on the best part of trail running, the scenery. I mean really look at how incredible this is. Hey mountain man. What's up? How do you feel being in your natural habitat? Uh, good. It's been a long time.
So we are entering the Douglas Preserve in Santa Barbara, which I believe is a little tract of land that the uh, actor Michael Douglas uh, set aside for preservation. So now people just uh, bring their dogs out, go hiking, go running. It's a beautiful area, overlooks the ocean. It's awesome. Ooh. Ow. Sounds like I'm just eating my pit this time. We picked up a partner. Hi, Frank. Try running hard. <laughs> I'm doing okay, though. You're doing great. A lot better than I used to. Yeah. My final trail running tip is don't overanalyze your pace. It will be slower than on the road. And don't be too hard on yourself for being slower. It's a completely different animal and it's easy to forget that. So I'm not really uh, that worried about Wifey on the trail right now. She looks comfortable, she looks strong. I'm not worried about her tripping over um, a leaf, so. I got a compliment. Still have gray hair at 33 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you want to be a trail runner? There you go. Might be getting that scramble down. Moment. Is that what Rocky did after? I think. <laughs> Someone Some a little tucker dad. It's all right. You look good. Then the run took a little bit of a turn for the worse. I could say it was due to taking off way too quickly, which I'm sure didn't help, but it really was my recent mental health struggles catching up to me. I often put on a brave, happy face, but things haven't been easy lately. Working out is generally my escape from any stress or anxiety that I'm facing. However, I can't always outrun those feelings, and today was one of those days. As I was struggling on a climb, I started to get too hard on myself, and the next thing you knew, all that recent stress came rearing its head, and it led to quite a negative spiral. Fortunately, I turned it around in the end and realized I was pushing my limits in a new way. Mental health isn't easy to talk about, but negative mental wellness has increased significantly recently across the country. It was important to share the real truth of all parts of this run and hope that it helps anyone struggling know that you aren't alone. If you're having a tough day or need to take it one day at a time, that's okay. Be kind to yourself. Been a strong love.
trails are very humbling and very hard. It's been like over a year since I ran them, but I've already, I did better than last time and it was harder, so. She did great. This is a good learning experience for her. And now uh, we'll do a few more runs here at Ealings, I think. And then we'll, we'll take you up to the, to the big mountains. The big girl trails? The big girl trails. <laughs>